Welcome back, Doom Tubers. Doom Waves here for the end of the year wrap up video. Today is January 1, 2014. And uh, yeah, I beat a ton of games this year. 64 in all. Um, I played a lot more than that, but uh, 64 is the number of games that I finished. And I've already done my my rundown of 2013 releases, and of course those are also included in the, the ones I beat are also included in this. And uh, from this list, I will pick my favorite game that I beat this year. Um, this is a very tough thing to do. Okay, so I guess we'll start off here. I beat, I think I counted 16 games. Uh, since the beginning of October, which is when the fourth quarter of the year started, October, November, and December. So, to start off, I beat Knights of the Round on the Super Nintendo. I emulated, of course, because um, that's how I roll. I beat that, and also beat uh, King of Dragons on Super Nintendo. A couple of pretty fun uh, Capcom beat-em-ups. Really enjoyed those. Uh, number 51 on the year. Uh, Doom 64. Originally a Nintendo 64 game, of course, but I did play a, uh, a hacked version um, that was um, reprogrammed for PC. So it is available out there on PC. Um, I do own the game for the N64. I just don't like to play N64 games um, because I hate the controller so much. But uh, I did play the game, and I did love it. It's a very, very good game. I highly suggest if you are in the same boat as me and can't stand the N64 controller but really do want to play Doom 64, um, Doom 64 EX. It's on PC. Give it a shot. Splatterhouse 3 on the Genesis. Uh, I did emulate this, uh, but I do have the game on my... Uh, Splatterhouse disc, um, it's an unlockable on that disc, so it is on there, but I did emulate it on the PC. Uh, number 53, Etrian Odyssey Untold, The Millennium Girl for the 3DS. I've talked a ton about this game, it's, uh, the box is right there, um, love this game. Uh, next up was, uh, Ease Chronicles Plus, uh, Book 1 on Steam, played that. Uh, number 55, Raiden 4, or Raiden 4, for the Xbox 360. Really awesome vertical shooter. One of my favorite uh, shoot 'em up series, if not my favorite shoot 'em up series. It's amazing. Number 56, uh, Serious Sam, for the Xbox. And number 57, Mr. Driller Drill Spirits, for the Nintendo DS. I loved it. It's a really great puzzle game. Had a ton of fun with it. It's, it's just a really awesome little series. Uh, number 58, Call of Duty Ghosts for the Xbox 360. That's a 2013 release, and so is uh, Etrian Odyssey Untold. Beat that, uh, followed by Call of Duty 3 on the original Xbox. And number 60, Virtual Fighter 2 for the Saturn. And 61, Fire Emblem Awakening for the 3DS. Gauntlet 7 Sorrows for the Xbox at number 62. 63, Halo 4 for the Xbox 360. And finally, number 64, I beat Halo 3 ODST for the Xbox 360. And it is a brilliant game. Oh man, I loved that game. We might be doing a mini-sode about that for the podcast, which is why I haven't put out a video for it. Uh, not really sure yet, so don't quote me on that. But um, it's uh, it's been a really great year for gaming for me. I've never beat this many games in a year before. Holy crap, I beat a ton of games. A lot of short games, um, not, a, not a lot of really um, time-intensive um, RPGs and things. I played a lot of beat-em-ups, I played a lot of shooters, I played a lot of first-person shooters and shoot-em-ups, you know, and games that just don't take tons and tons of time, you know. No, I didn't play very many, you know, 30-hour-plus uh, games, you know, just, just a few and uh, I loved the few that I played, um, but uh, yeah, I didn't play that many. Uh, so just a recap of the year um, before I pick my top three of this quarter. And 
the, my favorite game. So, um, for the first quarter, I picked uh, Quake 4 for the Xbox 360, Doom 3 for the Xbox 360, and Enslaved Odyssey to the West for the Xbox 360. Now, and, uh, for the second quarter, I did pick Dust and Elysian Tale on the Xbox Live Arcade, Red Faction Armageddon for the 360, and Vey or Vi, for the Sega CD, but I played it on iOS. And uh, third quarter, Doom 3 Resurrection of Evil and Lost Mission, occupying just one spot, even though they're separate expansions. Uh, Diablo 3 for the PS3, and Panzer Dragoon Orta for the original Xbox. And then my three picks for the fourth quarter are... Etrian Odyssey Untold, The Millennium Girl, of course, Fire Emblem Awakening for 3DS, and Halo 4 for the Xbox 360. This was very, very tough to pick the last three, um, because I beat some incredible games in the last couple of months. And, uh, therefore, I did pick... Um, a few honorable mentions uh, for the year, and four of them came from this quarter alone. Um, my f- my eight honorable mentions that, that that aren't eligible to be picked from for the game of the year are Heavenly Sword for the PS3, To the Moon for PC, uh, Code of Princess for the Nintendo 3DS, and New Super Mario Brothers for the Nintendo DS. Loved all those games so much, but they just didn't make the the tops, and then for the fourth quarter alone, I picked Doom 64, Serious Sam, Gauntlet 7 Sorrows, and Halo 3 ODST, so there you go, There's that's those games didn't make it into the top 12 of the year, but um, they were all really close, so top 12 of the year, oh man, this is really, 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 honestly very tough, because like I said, I've played some incredible games this year. Oh, man. It would be a total cop-out if I just just said Doom 3. As much as I love Doom 3, and I enjoyed the both of the expansions, I would say I would put it at number... Oh my god. <laughs> this is extraordinarily tough. I did not think it would be this tough. But uh, if I had to pick a top. Oh, I can't even pick a top. I'm just going to have to pick a favorite because I can't. I can't rank the other 11 games. It's too tough. I'm going to have to stick with uh, my method for my 2013 uh, wrap-up and uh, and pick those three games for tied for number one. Because I just, I can't, I honestly, I honestly can't say which one I liked the best of those three. So, I'm going to stick with it. I'm going to say... Etrian Odyssey Untold, Millennium Girl, Fire Emblem Awakening, and Diablo 3 for my favorite game this year. Followed very closely by by Doom 3 and Halo 4. God, this was a tough choice. Set. If If my arm was being twisted and I had to say it, Fire, uh, no. Etrian Odyssey Untold. I think that was my favorite game this year. I anticipated, well, all three of those games I named, Fire Emblem, Diablo 3, and Etrian Odyssey Untold, I anticipated immensely. Um, Fire Emblem Awakening was was an anticipation after it was already released, and I had heard how good it was, and I just, I was so anxious to get it, but could never seem to find a copy and or afford it, you know, at the same time. So I was worried that it was going to become rare, you know, hard to find, uh, before I could afford to, to pick up the game. And, uh, because it came out in, like, February, I think, January, February, and I didn't pick it up till like, June or something like that, way later in the year. 
And then um, Etrian Odyssey Untold, I pre-ordered it. I was very excited to get it, and I got it Amazon Prime ship day one to my door, you know, and busted it open that day and started it. And uh, same with Diablo 3, I pre-ordered it um, like June or July, and it came out in September. And, you know, I anticipated its release a lot, too, and I went and picked it up at GameStop day one. So it's just all three of those games I just, I looked forward to so much, and they didn't disappoint. If any disappointed right away, Fire Emblem Awakening didn't hook me, you know, at at the you know earliest onset. You know, I did play for a few hours and just wasn't totally grabbed right away. Um, so I could say that that's not really a flaw. It's just you know I wasn't in the mindset to play it when I finally did pick it up. Uh, but Diablo three, I've said in the past, kind of epitomizes at least on the PS three. The PS3 version, Diablo 3 really kind of epitomizes what I really like in an action RPG. That's kind of the what I want to be doing. I want to be collecting treasure and hack and slash, you know, and using abilities and and just running around destroying things and just that's that's what I want in an action RPG. And I really really liked it. And then Etrian Odyssey Untold. This was the not the first experience I had with a first-person dungeon crawler, um, and not even the first Etrian Odyssey game I played. I played Etrian Odyssey 3 quite a bit this year, but I didn't finish it. And um, But it was just it was very addicting gameplay. All three games, actually. Very, just super addicting. And when I started them, when I started Etrian Odyssey Untold, I, I didn't put it down for the next, you know, 40, 45 hours of gameplay. I just blasted through that game in like 15 days I think it was so needless to say it's uh, probably my favorite game this this year so like I said if I had to twist my arm someone was twisting my arm you know <laughs> Etrian Odyssey and I kind of knew that going in but it, like I said it was just like a really huge toss up between Etrian Odyssey and Diablo 3 because both of them you know, I just absolutely adored. So, um, I want to thank you for watching these videos, if you care at all. <laughs> I kind of just make these uh, for my own pleasure, you know, and hopefully that uh, people are into it, you know, my subscribers. Uh, thank you to all of my subscribers. This has been a fantastic year um, for gaming and for YouTube for me. And I'm having a lot of fun doing both still. So, I, you know, there's no showing no sign that I'm going to uh, slow down or stop uh, gaming or um, YouTube. You know, I'm still having fun. And, you know, that's kind of the whole point of both of those things. You know, do this to make money. You know, I don't do this to, to gain popularity. You know, I appreciate the subscribers and all the people that I've met. I've met some amazing people. And, uh... It's it's awesome to have like-minded friends uh, to talk games about. So, um, as always, I want to thank you for watching and uh, stay tuned for a a backlog update video of sorts. I'm gonna have one of those coming out pretty soon as well. Um, got some pickups that I want to do an actual pickup video, actual video game pickup video um, post Christmas. Um, I didn't mention in my video, but I did get some some like cash and stuff for Christmas. So I I I did pick up some games, and I'm planning on picking up a few more. Um, so, you know, that's the the post Christmas pickup video is just kind of you know every immediate thing that I got uh, received for Christmas. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to go ahead because that was you know all that took place in December pickup wise. Everything else has been uh, since then today and in a couple of days probably so anyway this is a short video comparatively to my other uh, games completed videos so I'll leave it at that thanks for watching Doom Waves out